So welcome in uh, the second part of the aeroplane modeling. And here is our last uh, scene that we have created, also uh, also complete with the UV. And now what we need to do is to export this as an SVX. So I'm going just to do that by creating ex uh, press export, choose FBX over here. And then we can just disable this option here scale data so it will scale correctly and I'm going to rename this aeroplane dot fbx and export it so. and now we can go to the folder here I think I put it in this folder over here okay uh, this here and I've created a new scene and I've imported this surforge over here as you can see and I create a folder called biplane and to import this you can just uh, browse the asset store and then uh, if you haven't bought it you need to buy it and then you can import it uh, and I've put the link below in the description so you can buy it if you if you uh, really like to Go back to the scene and then I'm going to go to the window and press surforge here. And then I'm going to create a new texture. Okay, I think it's still loading at the moment. Yeah, sometimes it took a while to load this. I'm not sure why it's causing this. So. Okay, let me check what happened for a while. Okay, apparently it took a while to open this, I don't know why, because... So now we have this window here and we need to change the layout first so we can easily do this. And I'm going to set the scene here and move the hierarchy here. And where is it, our surface window? Ah, there, I can, I'm going to put this on the side here. And make this smaller. Also, the inspector also smaller, so we have a bigger estate to. Okay, so now I'm going to press this gizmo here, so we can see the object from the top view, and then make sure it's orthographic by pressing the cube. And now, with the biplane folder open, I'm going to drag our aeroplane FPX and put it inside. Our assets over here so we have this and now in order to create a texture we need to go to the I think this setting here the render setting and for the model we need to open this first and then select this uh, this uh, object here so drag this the child object of our our aeroplane here with the mesh icon over here and then drag this to the model so now we can see that we have a space, uh, the aeroplane, sorry, not spaceship, the aeroplane model, and this is the UV. And for the UV, we can also we can change the background if you like to to see different reflection on it. I think I'm going to use the normal one, but later we can change this to get a better uh, reflections display. And I'm going to enable this below to show UV so we can see our UV segment okay and now let's start model this uh, UV out so we need to create a poly lasso and to create this we can just double click on the on the uh, island here so press double click and it will automatically create a island of a what do you call this this poly lasso and we can update this uh, object by pressing space here and it will update the rendering uh, there you go as you can see we haven't updated and because our scene we can see this line over here and we can leave it if you want to or we can just expand its value so our scene is outside the the island and if we press space it will update with the better scene over here as you can see 
and now we can start modeling so I'm going to create all of the base island for each of the object first by double clicking it so just like that Sorry, I'm going to set the polylass up again and then double click inside of it. This one also. Then press spacebar. It will update. Yes. There we go. Now, <coughs> sorry. And now uh, we can start modeling things out over here. So for the we can change the the color by selecting the poly lasso then and then change to a value of one up to eight so we can reserve uh, eight different textures or materials on each of the plane so for example if i change i select the ship uh, the, the wings over here and press two it will be assigned to a different uh, material and if i update this it will have different material and under the material, I can drag a different material. For example, if I drag this red one, it will only apply get applied to the uh, wings area. And if I drag this to the body, it will get applied to all of the object because all of the other objects still share the same value, which is one. So I'm going to put this back to the chrome here, and I'm going to change the thruster here to a uh light sorry uh what to say em uh emission emission object so press nine or zero and press sorry nine and if i update this by pressing spacebar we can see that the rear part i think it's oh no no sorry this is the wrong one I'm going to put this back and where is it this object here, I think is this one or, or oh, sorry, this one and change this to nine and then press spacebar to update this. And as you can see that we have a glowing here for the thruster and let's start detailing these things up here for the propeller front propeller. We can add a detail. So I'm going to add a details over here and we have this thing here. It's like a propeller. We can put it in front and then we can scale this by scaling the object just like the usual unity component here. Like that and then we can select the sub object here. We can scale this one if you want to like this maybe. So Let's try update the textures and we can see that we have a nice looking detail over here. And now I'm going to create a different color for the front part here. So here we can select the poly lasso and then press control and then click. Oh sorry, not control. Uh, sorry, just trace it first and at the end, before clicking the last one, hold control and then click this. So it will cut our uh, surface. And now we have different surface over here. We can move this surface. It's an object actually, but I'm going to leave this. And then I'm going to assign a different color. Let's say number two. And if we update this, it will going to be red from here. There you go. So now the next thing will be is to expand this first so we don't have the seam over here. As, as you can see, we have a seam, so I'm going to expand this once more. Okay, and then I'm going to update this. So there you go, we have a better cutting. And now we can use the poly lasso again just to create a cut over here. Pressing control like that. Oh, it cut both sides. So okay, it's okay. I'm just 
going to create a new polylog so then oh sorry i've somehow enabled the symmetry i'm going to disable this okay let's do it this again there you go there you go so we have a new polygon over here and then we can change this also and we can update this so we have some sort of frame over here and we could need to create a new one so let's do this and then press control when clicking on the last sorry i'm going to cancel this we need to select the poly lasso first the poly lasso that we are going to cut and then using the poly lasso just create it normally and poly lasso again sorry it gets snapped to that point i don't want to and then here just press control at the end and then let's do this again Yeah, like that. And we, sorry, I'm going to disable the poly lasso here and then select this part here, press 2 and update this. So we have a okay, I think we need to move this on the z axis a bit. So, and let's try to render this again. I don't know why, why it's showing that. Okay, we can fix this later so now let's assign this other object to a different value press 3 and if we update this we have a different material and let's do the machine gun over here So for the machine gun, let's assign a different value, 4, for example, 4 and press 4, so we have different materials. And for this, I'm going to assign 5. And let's see, the, okay, we have different values and we are going to assign a different uh, material later. And... For 4, we can choose material. Over, oh, we can add details. If you want, we can create details. So select this polygon and we can choose this under the poly lasso tool. Select the poly lasso that we want to change and choose this one. It will create a nice uh, pattern over here. And we, if we update this, as you can see that we have a nice machine gun with some sort of exhaust and back to the materials let's select the object here sorry not that one i think it's this one sign that yeah i think that looks nice okay so let's uh let's do the glass over here the cockpit glass and uh, we need later we can change the material but we need to choose the better looking one okay let's just use the blue one first okay and now let's add more details in it so okay for the wing we can create a details details uh, so we can add detail and let's add something some nice detail on the body part first for example let's add something over here and we can scale this out scale this up then move this and then try to update the material and there you can see that we have a nice detail but i'm going to push this to this area here and then update it by pressing spacebar put it just a bit to the up 
yeah there you go so we have the details over there and let's do the rear I'm going to change the tissue so we have a same pattern same color to this here I think the nor uh, the normal is inverted here as you can see I'm going to fix this later uh, in blender but for now yeah we can just leave it and let's cut the rear exhaust over here this rear part I think this is the inner this is the okay from here from this this area here you can see that we have a so go to the poly lasso and then start by this is selected start clicking things and as usual on the last hold control and then click it so it cuts this and I'm going to set this to the same material to this one so I think it's four and let's update this press spacebar yeah there you go we have a different material than the body and now we can add more details to the ship here so I'm not going to cut this but create a new poly lasso like this and this new lasso I'm going to move this on the y-axis so it's visible just uh, slightly slides the value here under the position and then I'm going to assign this to 6 and update this as you can see we have a, another details on the rear side of the uh, wing here and we can add a texture like this should be nice and I haven't decided yet for the body but I think I'm going to give it this yellow S or this one the metal worm so we have a red and orange yeah sorry red and yellow material on it and I'm going to change this to 4 I think so we have a chrome yeah that's nice just like our machine gun here and let's change this also to 4 we are not going to use 5 did this yeah as you can see we have a quite nice ship over here and we can add more details if you want to so let's explore our options over here let's create a new poly lasso or we can add details we can search something that looks like an exhaust over here like this and we can put it here and we can also scale this sorry press escape and then scale this object so it gets bigger and we can move it we can also rotate this so it aligns with our ship and if we press base bar there you go that we have a some sort of this detail and if you don't like it here we can just move it on the side here sorry and yep it's quite hard to see the lines right now so you have to take a better look closer look uh, i think that will be better and we can just duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and then sorry press ctrl d and then like this and then update this by pressing spacebar and I think that will be enough and here I'm going to create a new poly lasso below here so I'm going to go to this here yep and then press control oh sorry we need to select this I always forgot we need to select the poly lasso that we want to cut and then start draw 
like this and hold control. So we have a Okay, so some sort of opening over here and we can change this to six I think and if we update it we have this stripe yellow stripe over here so you can keep add details if you want to and one thing I want to with more details is on the wings over here so let me select the wing first so we can cut this and sorry you can cut this and if you press alt I think I oh know shift you can constrain this movement so it, 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 it is more constrained and there you go we have a nice chunks here we can assign five and then update this and we can assign different materials to it or we can change this to one so we have a yellow stripes over there and then we can add details we can add a text but since this is mirrored uh, the text would not look good so I'm going just to add signage over here uh, which one is better oh, this is okay we need, we can use this sign over here I think we can use this one put it here and then we can scale this by pressing R on the unity okay and then we can update this there you go so it's it's a stripe or can we change this value here oh yeah we can use the surface material or we can just use a different one it's hidden material okay so or I'm not going to use this I'm going to delete this and I'm going to use another one the here I think this one is should be oh, it's not selected though let's update this first and let's try to add oh sorry I'm going to add detail press the add detail first and then <laughs> choose the the icon that you want to use It's, it's rotated a bit so I'm going to go back to the top view and select this and let's rotate this 90 degrees and move this to the side here so let's update this and now we have a nice signage on the wing and we can add one to the body also So press up details and select the details that you want to add. I think I'm not sure which one. And this one would be nice. Put it here near the cockpit. And we can scale this. Also rotate this. Uh, sorry, rotate this a bit. Move this and press update sorry press spacebar on the preview here as you can see that we have a details over here now and of course we can add more details to it if you want to but I think that should be enough okay I think I'm going to try to fix this Or we can just leave it 
so yeah okay now the last thing that we need to do is to export this map so go to the render settings and change the resolution that you want to for example 2k and we can see it with different uh, reflections if you want to also sorry forgot for the material over here I'm going to select this select the emission and the first one I'm going to change this value to a reddish light red so we can have a particle over there uh, burning fire so it is a thruster and we can add a LED uh, another lighting object if you want to just for example we can add details add a details a small details and we make this details as a light for example this I think this would be good for light okay we can put this below the sign here or maybe here and then select the sub object yeah this one the small one the, the this three part here and then press zero so we are using the second emission oh since we are using 2k okay and then we can change this value to a lighter blue if you want to yeah like this so we have a really nice looking we can also add uh, bolts stuff like this nuts and bolt just press add details and put it somewhere you want to something like this maybe put it on the edges and I'm going to scale this make this very small here then I'm just going to duplicate this put it so we have much more details for example here we can move the y value so it it, it we can see it sorry press ctrl D again and then duplicate this and select this one press ctrl D and we can add more details to the wings Here also we can copy this nuts and bolts and put it here. Yeah, and maybe we can duplicate this again and put it some of it here. And if we update this, we can see that our details get rendered. But I think because it it shares the same, so I'm going to choose all of the rivet clone over here. And then set this to number 4. And then update this again, so we have much more a different color oh sorry we need to select all of this event here and press 4 why is not working 3 4 Okay, I think I made a mistake over here. I'm going to delete this. Apparently, I just I just copy the inside, not the whole object. So we need to select here, select the parent because we can. I, I was copying this object over here, so select the parent and then press Ctrl D again. And before I'm going to go to further, set this value to four. So if I update this. It should be different than the red value over here. 
Okay, something is wrong. I'm, I'm not sure why, but why is the color is red? Okay. Mass and okay, I don't know why it's not. I have to press the four twice. Okay, so now we have different uh, material. It's not red. It's not going to be red. The ribbon. Yeah, as you can see, we have a chrome. And now I'm going to select one of this. And start duplicating it. Hopefully, this worked nice. Oh, I think I need to move this rivet. Which one is this? Okay, I need to move this here. And the first one also here, I think. Yep. And this one here. Yeah. So press space. Let's update it. So it's going to be inside uh, on top. Yeah. There you go. We can see it better. And now select uh, that one is okay. Press Ctrl D and then duplicate this. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put it so duplicate here and then duplicate once more and for this one I'm going to scale this to a smaller size and then put it here and then also here and then another one here and then this one here so yeah Let's update this, but I'm going to change this to a smaller value uh, resolution so it renders faster. Now you can see that we have these nuts and bolt details on the ship. So yeah, I think we're done with the texturing. We can maybe we can add another details for a wing on the rear side here. So let's do that. Go to add details. I'm going to just add a sign. Maybe this sign over here, and let's rotate the sign. Where is it? Okay, this sign here. Just uh, rotate this a bit and scale this so it's smaller. Okay, so let's update this. Yeah, there you go. We have a sign over here, and we are going to fix the flip the flip faces later and now I'm going to add another details for this one here so let's press add details again and press this one and I'm going to scale this again not that this one scale it make sure that we are selecting oh sorry there is a problem. I I pressed the symmetry uh, by mistake. So just select this one and delete this and delete this. And then scale this. I need to scale the parent object. Scale this to a smaller value. Rotate this. Okay. So yeah. Now we need to change the all of it, yeah, like that. Press spacebar, we can see that it gets updated. No, not yet. Oh, <laughs> it's flipped, so I think, yeah, later when we flip this object, it will work fine. So I'm going to save the scene first before we so aeroplane. okay and now last thing we need to do is just to export map. so i'm going to change the resolution first and then press export maps and then i'm going to choose our sorry our folder here under assets 
the biplanes and texture and then rename this biplane so it will output all of the needed maps so now let's fix the uh, flipping the flip normal here on the rear wings uh, in order to do that I'm going to go to the blender and reload the scene so I'm going to open recent and uh, open this file here and this is the uh, flip normal in blender it doesn't show flip but if you can uh, if you notice it there is a dark shading and usually the dark shading means that the face is uh, flipped so I'm going to select all of the faces over here and then press ctrl L to select all of it and then we can go to the sorry shading here and press recalculate there you go so if you flip it will go dark and if you flip it back it will uh, be lighter and here as you can see that the shading is now normal like the other uh, element on the ship and now we need to export this again so save this file and then let's export this again export fbx and make sure this is uh, in a, uh, disabled this option here and press the file name and I'm going to replace this okay so now I'm going to just save the, uh, close the blender and then here I'm going to open the folder first so show in explorer and we can see that here is our FBX and then I'm going to replace this uh, via explorer so here I'm going to copy the fixed the fixed one and then paste it here so it replaced and then yes replace the object yeah now once it's replaced we can close the browser here and go back to the and here as you can see that our texture is displayed correctly but you can see here that our signage is flipped so we need to move this to the other search for the sign object and then move to the other side here and we can rotate this and I'm going to make sure that UV is enabled so I can see the UV uh, alignment and move this here and I'm going to scale this again and then press spacebar again so it updates our there you go so we can see that we have a sign over there and now I'm going to re-export this because when we export that it was flipped on this side here so press export map and then I'm going to overwrite our last texture so I'm going to give it a name by plane again so it replaced all of it save and it will okay so save the scene and uh, you can keep this scene I mean for further editing you can keep this composition and you we can also create a new scene here and if we try to put it our our object here we can drag the aeroplane and put it on hierarchy so it stays on the middle and for this object we can go to our texture and we have a material already set up and here we can enable the emission and drag this by plane to this object here there you go as you can see that here our object is textured perfectly and maybe we can fix this later in a Photoshop se session but if you see it from far away it, it's it kind of look okay I know we can uh, make this better so I hope you like this tutorial and you can see how easy to to set material for our 3d model using surforge so if you if you like this 
uh, add-on you can download it you can buy it on asset store and i put it the link uh, below in the description and i'll see you on the next episode thanks for watching bye